just attack this guy. Just attack and attack and little attack back, nothing special. If you get low on health, just use a potion. But I want to do this a little bit faster so I use this anactic wind. And it should deal awesome damage. Yeah, 40. And if you see our normal attack just does 22. So it's quite helpful. Okay, it should die soon. Could take the wrist now and try to finish him off. But I gonna take a potion. I don't know if this fight is actually possible without using a potion. Because it doesn't seem like it is. If he's level 3, then I think it should be possible. Oh yeah, I could have killed him there. But I think it's impossible without the Anarchy Wind to kill him for your use of potion. 500 chill, 20 XP, job level increases. Job level is the level of your job, so it has nothing to do with the level of your character. So keep that in mind. Job level just raises your skills with that job you have, and not, no, none of your stats. Yeah, I've been chosen. Woohoo! Of course, in any Final Fantasy game, it has to be like this. Of course, crystals can't speak in this game. Oh, wait a second. There we go. I can see the top screen as well because the crystal like there is there. You can see it. Uh, I don't care. I understand. So we are the warrior of light and we have to save the world, woohoo! We are not alone, at least not for long. We'll get all our part members um, pretty soon. No one is not that intelligent, so the world member somehow this emulator hates me, so... You can see the map on the top screen. So we go into our hometown. It's Ur. Yeah, two, two characters. Okay, so this is some shops. You can buy magic, and some armor, and some weapons. But I'm going to buy some armor. Okay, I'm going to sell a shield and. Bronze brazel for a cap. Um, I'll go with that too. So let's equip that. You can see our defense goes up. The more defense, the less damage you'll take in battle, obviously. I think they only sell uh, long swords and staff in here. Yeah, and a dagger. We don't care about daggers. Uh, stuff. I could buy some more stuff now for other party members, but I'll wait until I, until I get them. I don't want to waste any money. You don't actually have that much money in the game. Only later on in the game you can buy every, everything, you don't have to worry about money. Hey, okay, I wanted to sell that. Top screen, you can see um, uh, who of your party members can take the weapons, but as a freelancer, you can have any weapon you want. But most important, let's go for magic. I think this magic system is like in Final Fantasy 1. So you buy some magic and you learn them to your characters. And you have Poison or Persona, and we don't need that. And every character has different slots of magic 
sword after a certain level. We have level 1, 2, level 8 magic. And in each level we can select 3 different spells. And don't worry about picking because there only are like 3 spells for every level. So if you have a black mage for example, you can learn every black magic and don't have to worry about leaving anything out. So now uh, something very important is the MP system because you actually see we all have 2 MP for the level 1 and 0 MP for everything else. So as we level up we get more MP for the adjacent um, levels and every spell uses 1 MP for that level. So if we had level 1 uh, uh, magic now we could use it 2 times and then we couldn't use level 1 magic anymore before we heal up MP up. Okay let's go explore a bit. I think I have to go in here. To talk to anyone to get them the story going. This is a magical fountain thing, and yeah, this one heals you, but later again, this won't heal you anymore, they just recover your fallen party members. So later in the game, you uh, always have to go to an inn to uh, recover. Quite stupid. There aren't even tents in this game, or cottages. This is the elder to Papa, or I don't know. I hear someone knows about that crystal thing. Blah blah blah. Story, story, story. So we got chosen by the crystals and we now are chosen to save the world. Woohoo! That's the end. We can heal up in there. As this is our hometown, I think we can heal up for free. And then we have to go to here, because here is a friend of Lunaf. It's Ark. These guys don't like him, I don't know why. Here we have Ark. I won't rename any characters. For obvious reasons. Yeah, Luna is like the cool guy. And Dark is like that intelligent guy that no one likes because he's not cool. And now he runs off and wants to prove that he is a cool guy. A dude. But he's not a cool dude. Okay, yeah, I can run around and if you press A all the time you can search for items. Sometimes there are items sitting anywhere. Okay, why well, is there a battle? Normally there shouldn't be battles in town, but... Okay. So... Yeah, we should level up pretty soon. Because we got lots of XP for that boss fight. We have 4 more XP in the level up again to level 3. I think when you beat the game you should have around level 60. Oh, another fight. Yeah, later on in the game we'll be cutting out most of the fight because it's just the same. Or every everything the same. Oh yeah, have a look at the top map. Yeah, we're right now on the bottom, uh, top right hand corner. And the map is quite empty, but after you visit some places, they get marked on the map. You can uh, remember where they are. Unlike in other Final Fantasies, I think in Final Fantasy 1 and 2, uh, didn't even have a map. So it was quite stupid. So I have to go to Cassus. Cassus, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, let's go. Off to that thing stuff. Kazakh. Uh, what's his name? Off to the south. Come on. Okay. And we have to go 
to this place, I think, and I, this place is full of ghosts. I hear you, a little arc. What's up, dude? He was supposed to jump up like he was shocked, but. Wasn't that obvious? Yay, Ark joined the party. Let's see. So, as a freelancer, of course, he's got a normal knife, black cat, leather armor, nothing special. Okay, this time we can't do that much because there are just ghosts around. 